Tara and Andy's film reviews on ourgamers.co.uk. Good morning and welcome, Andy, to the second hour of the show, which is, of course, Film Review Hour. And we are talking about quite a film that quite a lot of people are talking about, actually. Yes. I've I've heard a lot of people talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) We're talking about Mad Max Fury Road. Now, obviously, I haven't seen... I'm just going to put it out there straight away. I haven't seen the original three. You have. Yes. I'm uh, old. I've, I've seen. But you also said, "Don't worry if you haven't seen the like the first one because you won't." No, this it doesn't link. This up isn't or, really a sequel. It's kind of more of a reboot. Yeah, it anything. is a reboot. It doesn't have the exact same origin story. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Yeah. So there we go. So I, I was a bit concerned, thinking I haven't seen the other ones. I don't have all the know-how and what. Uh, but um, thankfully, it wasn't an issue. So mm. that's good. So Mad Max Fury Road, classified fifteen. The director for this is George Miller, who obviously did the original three back in. Back in the day, back in Andy's day, in the late seventies and early eighties, and <laughs> of the seventeen uh, seventies and seventeen eighties. <laughs> <I'm joking. Aww. laughs> uh, the, the, that's BC as well. <laughs> oh, come on, <laughs> the lead actors. We've got Tom Hardy in this, Charlize Theron, and Nicholas Holt. So quite a few famous faces yes. in this one, and they all play so well. We're not on cast uh, yet. No, we're not. I know that is a, that, that is my cast note given away already. I can't help it because it's just it's a it's a great little team of uh, actors there, and they all do really well. The genre for this film is action adventure sci fi, a uh, brilliant genre. There, the running time exactly 120 minutes, which is exactly two hours. Should be easy for you. I know. Uh, yeah, really simple for me. Uh, in brief, in a stark desert landscape where humanity is broken, two rebels just might be able to restore order. Max. A man of action and a few words. Hopefully, Andy as well. And Furiosa, like me, a woman of action. <laughs> no, not quite. A woman of action who is looking to make it back to her childhood homeland. Uh, so there we go. That is, uh, in brief, what the film is about. And let's get straight into our first topic slash topics. We've kind of put them all together because I found it difficult to separate these this time. They uh, ended up kind of overlapping. Yes, yeah, they do. So, we're talking about shots, action, and story. In regards to the shots, I have to point out something that happened quite early on in the film, and you noticed this as well, and we did go ask about this afterwards, was the very frantic camera work that was reflecting the action in the scenes at the start. Yes. Yeah, it, was, it was... Oh, yeah, carry It on. was a chase scene. It's in the beginning of the trailer. It's not, not a spoiler. Yeah, no. there, was a, there was a chase scene on foot. Yeah, yeah. and it was, it was very juttery and disjointed, and it seemed like the frames were a bit... All, like, you know, the frames within it seemed a bit all over the place. Yeah, if you've seen a high, right, oh, look, a high, a high frame, frame rate... rate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, film previously, some people, it doesn't affect. Some people, like me, you can actually and see me. it, and you. Yeah. yeah. It actually looks like the film's playing faster. Yeah, and it's all broken but the, up But and the audio's stuff. fine. It's really, yeah, it's yeah, really hard yeah. to work out. So, unfortunately for us, high frame rate, we're like, we can see all of this, and it's, it's going a bit weird for us. And in, in a way, this is what happened at the start but then and we thought oh is this going to be throughout and it was only for that start it didn't happen again so afterwards we went and asked about whether or not it is in high frame rate and it's not so it is literally their decision on how they wanted yeah. that first scene action chase scene to be or whatever it is so it was a good choice i mean if it yeah, well, worked but because yeah. of we've been a bit scarred by high frame rate before <laughs> it was kind of uh yeah, are we gonna go is, is it gonna be like this effects? for two hours <laughs> um and also just in regards to the shots as well uh epic cool shots uh, especially the CGI moment that when when it's all zoomed out and you have the sandstorm um, you obviously see it in the trailer yes. as well so it's not really a spoiler but just the magnitude of some of the shots it's just epic again is the yes. word I can yeah, think of this film was really huge, good amazing shots so that's all I have for shots anything else and do um, well there was well, there was so many shots. Like, there was a really nice. Well, there are there. how many shots? It's a two-hour film. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two-hour long car chase, basically. It is, isn't it? That's yeah, all it really is, I didn't realize what it was going to be about. But and I, the, do you know what's really funny? The whole start of it with the chase, I thought that's just going to be it for the start, and after that, you know, something else happens. So I literally had my eyebrows up here and my jaw <laughs> down here, and I thought, oh god, this, this is going on for ages. And then I realised this isn't going to stop. This is like I can't be like fixed in this position for the whole two hours. So I did kind of calm down in the end. Mm. But I was so fixated and so into everything that was going on. And and then I realised I can't leave my face in this position. I can't not for two hours because obviously it's going to be a chase <laughs> by the looks of it for quite a while. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I absolutely loved it. Loved yeah. the story as well. When you mentioned that shots, one of the shots right at the beginning that was um, him next to his car. Which yes. was a very similar oh, yeah. scene from the previous film, or at least the cover in one of the previous films, yes. um, of Mad Max 
people that was a by. weird start that one it was. in this in this film yeah, yeah. But no this one he's standing by his car it's very very similar sort of shot really yeah, good, good, really, good really, really yeah, nice can't get the words out good way to start the film yes, as well because yeah, it, it was very calm initially and you're thinking oh is it going to be a slow yeah. start nah it, it does go straight into it after that but it kind of leaves you hanging it's like what's going to happen and then whoa you know there you go that's it for the next two hours actually you saying that there was the, the did you remember the cast at the very beginning how the titles and the names were all done with yeah. a really screwy sort of font yeah. and, and some weird noises behind it <laughs> it was it, that was me sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was a really weird in, uh, start to the film as well yeah it was all, all, it was. all helping you get in that mindset of definitely it's a bit crazy but. I loved their whole style for this film yeah. I definitely loved that I wrote down the word raw more than once that's because, a very good way to describe it actually definitely yeah. um, a bit more into the action uh, any more shots Andy no, I think no? in, in regards to the action and the story loads of speed and explosions yes. and thrills and in regards to the vehicles you can't watch this film and talk about this film and not mention the vehicles that are in this they're so cool looking and the way I would describe them are like beast vehicles they're yes. just beasts yeah, you know um, and you showed me a picture uh, the other day. You found someone who actually recreated them in Lego. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but it looks so good. They the do, yes, person they did really a really do. good job. Um, so anyway, yeah, crazy explosions, great beast vehicles. Uh, as I said, my jaw was open and my eyebrows were raised for ages and thankfully that calmed down because uh, I realised I can't stay like that forever. <laughs> Very exciting and really exhilarating film as well. There were comedic parts to it too. Oh. Um, it was quite a se- It was a very serious film. But there were bits in there and it was done as comedic relief but it wasn't like a it wasn't, a laugh, it wasn't ha, ha, intended laugh yeah no moment. it was just so oddly placed yes. and it would make you giggle yeah and it also fit with it being a bit crazy yeah a very you crazy know, world obviously yeah. the heat's gotten to them so yeah. <laughs> um and i can imagine i think we went to go see it in 3d i believe yes. uh, i can imagine this film would look really good in impact actually oh, the yes. sound and the look of it all would be really good in impact uh, just a final few notes regarding action and story as well just the brutal harsh existence that they're all living in obviously adds to the whole story and everything and uh, sometimes I did just wonder and think, what on earth am I watching? Because there were some really weird moments, but it worked. It worked. But I did sometimes sit there and think, what have I gotten myself into? What am I watching? You know. <laughs> but yeah, it was a really good film. Yeah, you mentioned um, explosions a little while ago. Yes. Um, I tried to get a word in Bucken. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you never actually touched on any sort of slow-mo. Slow-mo was a big part of some of the uh, car of crashes. And that you saw some of the detail that was really going on. Yeah. Um, a lot of the car crashes, from what I understand, aren't CGI. No. They, they use CGI to that. get rid of some rigging, yeah. but they actually used physical vehicles yeah it did look really good you could you could see though that it was it they they did a lot of their own stunts a lot of all the the explosions obviously was not cgi Uh, they did a really good job overall i think and as you say you you mentioned the sandstorm uh, but how epically overwhelming it was that was another part i loved that scene for me it could have lasted a bit longer i think i I was getting really into it and then obviously it was the next scene the scenes that relied on cgi were good and yes. the scenes that were had barely any CGI in them were also really yeah, good. Yeah, I know. know. They, 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 both sides. Oh, they balanced it out really well. They didn't overuse the CGI. They didn't rely on it, as you said. They they did a very good job in, in all. We are now moving on to a different topic. We're going to talk about locations and landscape, which doesn't very much. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> I'll just point that out. But <laughs> it does look pretty great. Like, the locations and landscapes look really great. And I have one note regarding all of this as well. Okay. So much sand. <laughs> There's just so much sand. I felt thirsty for them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they did a good job of making everyone look parched. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the way you put that. <laughs> just a matter of fact. I just, I just love the way how everyone looked parched. <laughs> <laughs> there was a crazy setting. Um, obviously, a lo- load of the extras in these huge settings had to be made to look yes. like they belonged there. They were... <laughs> worn down yeah, you wouldn't find someone in a suit walking around would you <laughs> well in that place you might <laughs> <laughs> actually yeah, yeah. it's such a weird it was a very weird world that they it live was. in um, although it was mainly set one chase in theory <laughs> in a huge desert it did vary a bit yes and the day night cycle when you had the night yeah. scenes the, the whole scene changed yes my yeah, eyes had to relax from orange and then they got invaded yeah. by a little blue <laughs> um, but, uh, I know what you mean yeah, yeah. And, uh, there, it's not just like all sand and, and dry no no, no there are there are other terrains there stuff. as well yeah. it's just mostly what you get from this is just desert and sand and I just thought it'd be funny to point out the fact that for me it was just like so much sand so yeah. much sand the, um, the landscapes in my opinion I've actually made a note um, the various landscapes it did kind of uh, put 
emotion across where the characters wouldn't. Yes, because that's a Max, good point. Max and all that are a bit mental. Yeah. Um, they're not quite with it, but and then because of that, they always look like they were. Yeah. Aggressive. Yeah, it's like a really harsh, tough. That's it. Uh, almost broken in a way, like well, dry. Yeah, obviously. I, I don't know. I know yeah. the word I'm thinking of. I just can't find it right now. And when the setting changed. The emotion would change with yeah. the same. Yeah, it of, would be a bit softer yes. and more emotional, more up, like coming out with stuff as well. Yeah. You know, more uh, upfront. So, what yeah, you, uh, you know what? I didn't even realise that. Check you out getting into your I films know. a bit deeper there, Let me Andy. Know what I'm talking about? <laughs> or maybe you just, you know, blagging it. Maybe you think you know what you're talking about and just hope. It's not confidence. As long as you've got confidence, <laughs> people believe you. I'll remember that then. <laughs> um, and finally, we're going to talk about cast as well. We've got a few more notes, actually. We've got music and randoms, but that's on the way. Right now, cast. So, obviously, I briefly touched on this already, and that's pretty much my note done. Charlize Theron, again, great performance from her. She doesn't really disappoint. She's been, she's had a, a long and amazing acting career, and she's always taken on every role, whatever it is, really well. And, again, she performs so well in this one yeah. so I, I love it and uh, I mean they all play really well and they all play their characters well because it has to work because you've got to have it all work with each other and, yeah. and all like right. bounce off of each other but she because she, she plays such a tough woman in this it's it's nice to see so yeah yes and uh, you can tell from the trailer there's some CGI on her arm a bit and that obviously is a bit weird to deal with yeah it must and be it must have been weird for her to work with that yeah, in a way how much of the CGI was done beforehand how much of it was she yeah how was oh, she yeah, yeah, yeah. manipulating yeah you know, Wait. I'm curious. I'd like to see behind the scenes. Again, that. yeah. We're yeah. probably going to end up always wanting to see behind <laughs> the scenes because it's always so interesting to see how a film's put together and what the bits that you don't see, cause, you know, the bits that are yeah. behind it or behind the scenes. <laughs> makes um, sense. <laughs> I'll stop talking now. Something that I didn't actually mention in the story section that I thought I'd hold back for the cast was that there weren't tremendously many lines. I doubt there were... Hmm. Uh, as many lines in this film as there was in some of especially, oh. especially from like Max yeah yeah. no the, the he was character. very quiet wasn't yeah, he he was very he stern knows. and serious <laughs> the, um, the cast did work well together and they had to get a lot across through the action and the emotion yeah. and stuff they done a good job with that yeah, they did and uh, mentioning cast I did feel bad for the stuntmen because some yeah, of yeah they were put through a <laughs> lot in this film especially where they didn't really want to always rely on CGI so well done stump people okay the music in the film again I don't have a lot of notes on this one I thought the music was great for the intensity of the action uh, they had some drums some really powerful drum uh, moments as well and yes that guitarist yes. lol <laughs> That's why I done an acting oh, for the guitar there. That guy was hilarious. For some reason, I found him so funny. Every really time he was me. on the screen and done something, I think you laughed or giggled. Every single time. <laughs> he was doing the same thing, pretty much. We're playing a guitar. No. <laughs> but like, and I kept thinking, I'm not going to laugh next time. I'm not going to laugh again. And then I think the last time he even like, popped up on the in the film... And I tried to hold it in, and I, I giggled again. I couldn't help it. For some reason, I found this guy so amusing. He has no lines, I think. He literally is just there to play guitar. Yeah, I don't um, remember him talking either. And do you have anything to say about the music? No, it's very fitting. Uh, again, raw. I made that, <laughs> made that note for music as well. Um, uh, yeah, definitely it, it agree. Was. It was indeed. Now, moving on from the guitarist... Uh, I'm going on to my randoms, and the guitarist has a bit to do with this as well. Okay. It definitely had that 80s feel with the, the guitarist and this, like, rock guitar sort of thing. And something that I kind of got, the like, the feel of from this film, it, it was a feel of an 80s-style film using modern techniques. So, like, the method, the pace, the story, the flow, all of it, like, I got this 80s vibe from it. But you, obviously, we're using nowadays technology. Yeah, you said that at the end of the film, mm. and I suddenly realised what you meant. And yeah. It did. I didn't, I didn't see it. But I haven't seen a lot of 80s films yeah. from like, my childhood. I just totally yeah, got was, that feeling. Uh, it was. I could yeah. totally see where you're going from. There. And I, I absolutely loved it. I thought that was so... It was just the, the style of the story and the way it was all done and getting that feel of an 80s. But getting the camera work and the CGI and, and everything that we've got in our means nowadays for film to make to make a good film. Like, it was just... It was, it was really nicely done. And I sometimes got the feeling 
the way this film was, the pace, the lines, the music, the way it was cut and everything, I sometimes felt like I was watching a bit of a rock musical or a show performance or a sort of, you know, that sort of thing. It reminded me years and years and years ago, well, not that long ago, but a few <laughs> years ago. <laughs> well, no. um, I saw a performance. Uh, it was a musical, Vampire's Rock. And they had a lot of, like, 80s rock music and everything <laughs> did, in it. Did the title have the question mark on the end? Because it's like, <laughs> Vampire's <did>. Rock? rock? <laughs> <Question mark>? <laughs> <laughs> vampire's <laughs> Rock. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's what I went to go see. And for some reason, throughout, especially when the guitarist would come along, obviously no one sings in this film, but the music bits and the guitarist, it just always reminded me of that performance. So that's what I got from this film as well. So those are my few random notes. But overall, the whole, like, all of it, absolutely loved it, yeah. so... Do we have time for a random note? Go for it. Um, the, ed- uh, the editor is the uh, George Miller's wife, mm. uh, uh, Margaret uh, Sixor, I believe her name is. Yeah. Um, he, she asked him why did he want her to edit the film, yeah. and his response was because if a guy edited it, it would look like every other action oh. film. So it's an well interesting Well done. Take. That yeah. is great teamwork right there. Yeah, it's done good. Yeah, I hope she got paid as well. <laughs> oh yeah, d- d- double double checks. Yeah, so it's in yeah. perk as well. I imagine <laughs> not just perks of being like the wife or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any other randoms? No, that was an interesting all... one actually. I didn't know yeah. about that one. Okay, so let's move on to the rating. Oh, after three, one, two, three, nine. nine. Oh, yeah, nine. Yeah, nine out of ten. I trust your judgment. Nine. Yeah, I trust your judgment too. I, it was so good. It really is a raw, epic. That's how we would describe it. In one word, Andy would say raw. One word for me, epic film. This was uh, definitely 9 out of 10. It's got a high rating anyway. It's got 8.7. Great reviews. Raving reviews, as they would say. And a raving one from us. And just in brief... Oh. And at least one sequel is definitely oh, planned. I, I think, I I think I more wait. than one's been planned, but there's only one listed as definite right. in production. But that's going to be a few years again, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I have to be patient. Oh, this film industry is teaching me patience. Thanks to Cineworld Festival Leisure Park Basildon for the best experience around.